You should avoid any contact with trains on this backrooms level unless you like being squished as flat as a pancake. Well, I don't know if you'd be squished per se. You might just be knocked really far into the- hey everyone, welcome back to day two of the Brugley Summer Spectacular. If you're new here, I'm going over all the backrooms levels in order. And this video is all about level 61. Now I know what you're thinking, you skip level 60, but I already made a video on it last year. It's on the screen now and I'll link it below in the description if you wanna go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Anyways, this video is all about the horrors that await you on level 61. Let's get into the explanation, shall we? Join the Brugley Discord. It'll be down below in the description. The link's been broken for a while. I just completely forgot to fix it. So, there it is. Level 61 of the back rooms has been given the totally comforting classification of a class 4 difficulty, which means the level is unsafe, unsecure, and explain. Also, there's a medium entity count too, which I'll go in depth about in the entity section, so just wait for that. The main level takes the appearance of a series of trains and train cars on an infinite track. The entire level is infinite, and it seems to randomly generate new data as it moves along. When you first get sent to the level, you'll be at the front of a train, where the train conductor might be in real life, you know, the very front. You'll notice that the train doesn't seem to be too old. In fact, it looks clean and sleek and really fresh. And since you started here at the front, you're probably going to want to start to explore the other train cars behind you. But you should be very cautious about doing that, because crossing between train cars is extremely dangerous, and it could lead to you flying off the train and landing outside of the train. The only way to cross is this tiny little path. Just go for it at your own risk. The train itself is moving very fast, and with one wrong step, you could miss and slip off and fly into the surrounding void of the train, but more on the outside part later. But if somehow you do manage to get to the next car behind you, you can explore it. The first car you'll get to will look like a normal passenger train car. There are seats and benches and tables and bars to hang on to when you're standing, and typical train stuff. The floor is clean and sterile smelling, and everything feels empty and completely clean. Almost to the point where it all feels fake, like AI generated or something. For the first few cars of this infinite train, they'll all be similar to this one. Just really clean, normal looking train cars with seats. But further back, the cars will start to turn into sleeping quarters and other rooms like dining rooms and bunk rooms. The bunk rooms have small beds on either side and sometimes there are bunk beds too. And the dining areas typically have a bench seating style with a table in the middle. Again, in these areas, everything seems spotless and like brand new, almost like it's never been touched before. It's very clean, very empty, and very liminal. There are also less windows in these deeper places like the bedrooms and the dining rooms than there are at the front. After you get past those sleeping quarters and the dining rooms, the level starts to lose its clean charm and things start to look weirder and more dangerous and they kind of get older. In fact, the level seems to go back in time the further you walk back into the train. And what I mean by that is the actual train itself, like the decorations and all that, will slowly age to an older time period the further back you go. The front of the train where you started is new and clean and fresh and all that stuff, but the further back you go, it'll start to look older and ancient and that kind of thing. Now, it's actually unknown if time itself goes back when you venture further on the train, or if the train itself just changes. We're not sure. These older areas that look almost abandoned are very rough and dark and uncomfortable to be in. They're loud and they're dirty, and you can really feel how fast the train's moving in these areas. It's also inside of these older areas where the most dangerous entity of the level lives. These entities are called camo crawlers, and these are ones that have been in the backroom's lore for, I guess, two years now. They're extremely unsettling. They take the appearance of a very vague, large humanoid shape with four spindly arms. They have the ability to blend in with any changing environment that they're on, just like an octopus or a chameleon from real life. They can change their skin color and shadows to match perfectly with their surroundings. 
They have massive white eyes on their face and huge ear slits that they used to hear the prey coming, and they almost rely fully on those ear slits for hunting. These camel crawlers can range anywhere from three to eight feet tall, and they really like to attach themselves to the roof of things and then drop down onto prey. So on this level, they hide in the dark corners of the train cars on the roof and wait for unsuspecting wanderers to walk back and sit down or fall asleep or something, then they'll jump off and they'll pounce. The good news is, they seem to be pretty rare and they don't really attack that often but if you do run into one you're more likely to run into an occasional hound or an occasional smiler as well both of those are dangerous but by this point in the back rooms you're probably used to them i would assume but as i said the train is literally infinite so you could just walk back forever and ever and never reach the end of it but what happens if you fall off the train and end up outside of that train Well, the outside area seems to be randomly generated when you're inside of the train. Like, you'll be able to look out the window and see almost like it's loading new chunks from a, like a video game. You know, on Minecraft, when you're loading a new part of the world and the chunks are loading, that's what it looks like when you're looking outside from the inside of the train. But when you fall off the train and are on the outside, you'll see that everything is actually black, like a void. Your entire surroundings are blacked out as far as you can see. And the only light is coming from the trains that speed past and random street lamps that are there as well. But when you're out here, you'll not only notice that black void, you'll see other trains speeding past you, going the opposite direction. You'll notice that the trains don't look as big as they feel, they just look like normal sized trains, but when you're inside of one, they go back infinitely, which is just another thing of non-Euclidean spaces in the back rooms. The floor of this void outside area seems to be some kind of black concrete that just goes out for infinity, with these railroads just inside of the concrete. It's just a black infinite void with trains running through it. Not many people actually see the level in this state though, because oftentimes when you jump off the train, it'll cause you to no clip through the ground to another level. You have to fall off just right to be able to see it like this. But of course, I'm Brugley, so I can tell you all about it. But yeah, the natural form of this outside area is just a void with trains driving for eternity in all directions. To enter this level, you need to sleep inside of the upper segment of level 60, and you can exit by jumping off an old part of the train, or you can wait for a train to stop randomly, and then you'll be sent to level 11. But the train stopping is really rare, it almost never happens. But besides the camo crawlers and falling out of the train, the real danger is just the trains themselves when you're trying to make your way around them when you fall off one. They're moving so fast, you kind of have to parkour your way around and, and just try to survive, I guess. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that. That was the explanation of level 61. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching until the end. I appreciate you. Um, let me know in the comments how your summer is going so far. Mine is going well. I'm really excited about this Brooklyn Summer Spectacular. I feel like these videos are just going amazing. Uh, click the links in the description below if you want to check out more of my videos on my second or third channel, uh, Toogly or Spoogly. I do reaction videos and gaming stuff on Toogly and on Spoogly. I kind of do more creepy internet mysteries. I post content everywhere. So if you want more of me somehow, then those channels will have it. Thank you for everything. I love and appreciate all of you. And I'll see you in the next episode on one of my channels. I don't know which one, but I'll see you.